you're, you're great at basketball, you're great as a human being, but you are not great when it comes to slapping bones, brother. You're not. Bring it to the table, let me show you how to win. This is for my players from the barbecues to the pit. We came to have a good time, plus we love the tricks. Homie thought he had me, then I hit him with a double six. Throwing bones, we not playing with your man when we throwing bones. It's insane in this game when we throwing bones. Throwing bones, throwing bones, yeah. Let's go. All right. There we go. This ain't gonna take but a sec. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, even man. though this is not my game, I'm feeling real disrespected right <laughs> now. <laughs> Big six to the board, man. You know what I'm talking about? It didn't take you that long to sit down, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let's six go. The there it is, Jalen. You got it, man. Let's go. How you start playing right. down with us? Huh? How you start? How did you? Oh, oh how I started. Down oh. Down you know who actually told me how to how to play dominoes? My six, wife, bro. Really? Yeah, she taught me when I was like 18 years old. Yeah. First she 15. taught me. All right, so this is Because her whole family, you know, they're from Texas, so they, they, you know what I'm saying? She, they, that's all they do is slap bones and drink brew. Texans. You feel me? Yeah, Texans. Texans. They all talk like they are the best domino player in the world. I have never <laughs> lost to someone from Texas in dominoes. <laughs> okay. But they talk. Because okay. like Domino's is all about talking Big Bronco. Yeah, but they, but they ain't good enough. You gotta win if you talk Big Bronco. It's on me, right? Yeah. It's on okay. you. It's okay. on you now. Nobody yeah. vocabulary gonna be better than 40. Come on, he got his man. own dictionary. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. I'm gonna give it to him straight, not that's late, man. You know what I'm talking about? You got, you got into it from your wife. Jamel, how, how did you first get in? So it, it was a, a bit of a family game, but you know, we all from Michigan, right? That's and y'all know the people's champion game in Michigan is spades. Yeah. So yeah, it's like we played yeah. a little yeah. bit of dominoes just to know it, but it just, it wasn't a thing in college at State. It wasn't a thing when I was an adult. And here and there when I interacted with Cali people, like we would play, but most of them couldn't play spades. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. no, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. most of them couldn't that's play spades, true. but they could play some dominoes though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta be a jack of all trade, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> keep you off the board. <laughs> Who you gonna keep off the board? Not keep the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, he, he, he's sharper than a porcupine spot. <laughs> okay. Hey, so look, that's ten. No, it's definitely ten to get in. Oh, 10 to get in. Okay, say no, that. it's 10 to get in. Say that, say it's that. It's just not. Well, I can't take that back. Let me put it there. Let me keep it there. Yeah, you need it. Yeah, it's good. It's gravity. You, that <laughs> you think so? Yeah, absolutely. Stay tuned. Absolutely. J. Rose, you said you ain't just, played just, dominoes just. in a long time, but you learned how. What was your first? So, how did you first get into it? So, playing dominoes, playing cards. Playing video games it was all things I did heavy. Mm -hmm. Just like getting this. Oh, that don't add up. Mm -hmm. Oh, he ready to talk to oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Big Bronco. Yeah, yeah, I was ready. <laughs> that's why I went there. Yeah. And so I did more. Is that it right there? Yeah. You can't ask us. Oh, you got to just hear it out. You're going to call it screaming like you mean it, man. I'm the Hello? first person in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, like, 15, remember? Really. Okay, yeah. right there. Yeah. First 15. So, so really, yeah. I couldn't play at the Domino's table because I was the youngest. Uh -huh. So, like, older cousins, the family members, everybody else played. I had to play at the, had to play at the spades table. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like Ooh. I watched poker and I watched dominoes and I know how to play, mm -hmm. but I never truly got a chance to play it as much. Yeah. Okay. But that don't mean I ain't about to win That's right okay. now. That's okay. We got to win. <laughs> hey. I mean, we've had a, a, an amateur come on the show and win before because they was playing behind an amateur. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, it can happen wow. like that. But wow. it, it can happen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you something, young mustache. <laughs> 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 I'm taking this senior citizen to you, a cold gangster. <laughs> uh, it's on you, Jalen. I win. What's on yeah. players? Yeah. Every, okay. Yeah, right. I win. Yeah. On. So let me go. At this table, there are a lot of firsts, you know, and. Like what everyone here has been able to accomplish, about that the I journey know. that everyone here has been on. But in the same, while being first, you also go through the shit that the first go through. And you know, start with 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 you, Jamel. The the shit that you had to go through, and still have to go through. Like it's it's not <laughs> as if it, it just 
and end it today. But Jamil say what the fuck on her mind. <laughs> yeah, she don't get what's yeah, going on. By the way, it's snowball. It don't stop. This is why you are an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> because you should have and could have and should have locked I, that out. I know. I was like. Well, I got to get the bad end of the stick. <laughs> why me? Well, you know, we're going to move this shit around in a minute. <laughs> I, I need to be in front you of him because, see. Me. I know how to stop him. See, I, I know what I know what's in his hands and everything. Okay. It's just, I can't do nothing right now. You okay. feel me? Every time I don't play, it's your play. <laughs> like the, <laughs> <laughs> my, my saying is every time it's my play, it's your play. Yeah. Like the yogurt. But guess what? I can't even <laughs> play. I, That's terrible, ain't it? <laughs> Charles Barkley voice. Uh, but to answer your question, Draymond, is, is, you know what they say. It's like the first gets it worse, right? And I, there's a lot of respects. I am not the first. And I think about, especially if you want to just you know, just uh, keep it to ESPN. You know, Robin Roberts was was the first, mm -hmm. you know, and she was dynamic, wonderful. I can't imagine what her experiences might have been like there. Um, and I like to think there was a lot of progress made in between, but as you know, when you're a woman, you're a black woman, especially in the field of sports, which is very male. It just feels, is, the language, everything is very male. You're gonna run against a certain amount of opposition, uh, to be honest, mostly with outsiders. Like I have, never really had a horrible experience with a coach or a player. Anytime we got into it, because uh, I remember me and Tom got into it, me and, me and your coach, Issa, we got into it before. But you know, the one thing I appreciate about him, you can get into it with him and he good with it. He's over it, you just go back with him. He's like, all right, understand your point of view and we good. There's no hard feelings, nothing. Um, but the fans are different, mm -hmm. as you know. And on any given day, writing about sports, I get told, uh, go write for Cosmopolitan or go back to Africa. It's one of the two, mm -hmm. right? So one of those sentiments is being expressed. So once I jumped into TV full time, it was then a fixation on looks, right? So mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, I remember one time, I'm thinking, we on sports and I'm thinking we did this great sports center, me and my former co-host, Michael Smith, we just killed it, we just laid it down. And some motherfucker even sent me a tweet talking about how unprofessional you to have your boots untied. Cause I had on some knee-high boots and they were just slightly untied in the back cause they had come untied. And I'm like, you spent all that time, we giving you interviews and all this and what's going on in the NFL and the NBA. And you were fixated on the fact that my boots were untied. Mm -hmm. And that's what you, Petty. That's what you took away mm -hmm. from that broadcast, and mm -hmm. we thought we, we did a pretty good job. So, as a woman, as a black woman, you get used to the scrutiny just being a little more intense, um, the judgment being a little harsher, for the insults cutting a little deeper. Uh, these are all things you all have been through. You already know, as black people in any position in America, they never think we deserve to be there. They act like a charity just came down and just handed us all our jobs, when nine times out of 10, black people have to be over excellent to be yeah, where they yeah, are, mm -hmm. right? So overqualified, overqualified, yeah, yeah. right? Under to deliver. It, it's like the old Chris Rock yeah, joke, yeah. right? To live yeah. in your neighborhood, wherever you live, you had to be one of the best basketball players in the world, absolutely, yeah. right? To be where you are, you had to be one of the best mm -hmm. athletes turned broadcasters mm -hmm. turned media mm -hmm. moguls. For you to be where you are, you had to be one of the best, best rappers. Best domino players. Stop. <laughs> domino player and rapper alive. Right, right. For you to just have your own wine, right? Yeah, and so yeah. it just, it is the, it's black excellence, but there's an inherent curse there is that we have to be excellent in everything that yeah, we do. So, That's on you, by the way. Yes. Uh, uh, I, well, one of the things that I learned in media and you just touched on it, and this was taking it in college, and people do this inherently, is that sometimes men especially introduce women by their looks. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like if Holly Berry come on the show, it's like the beautiful Holly Berry. Absolutely. Right. But if Whoopi Goldberg come on the show, the intelligent. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And to your point, um, that's something that inherently people do in this game that does damage in a lot of ways. And so the way you overcame it and still overcome it and become a mogul and a leader and a boss, I'm, I think, I'm sorry you've been judged by your hairline, Jalen. <laughs> we, we have all... 
I'm sorry, you you are more than a hairline, damn it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you are. What's wrong with you? You got hair. No, his hair. Yo, his hairline is, is the best in, this might be the in showbiz. This might be the best in, yeah. in like, out there. He got a hair full of hair, bro. Paul George. Paul George. Paul George. Yeah, yeah, he's like, he's in fifth grade. PG's. I look at PG's like, damn. Like, damn. Like, J. Rose, give me your top five hairline since we're talking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> At some Dave. point, everybody get into a top right. five. So, so, all right, so, all right, Aaron Donald. Oh, because he played football, he be taking his helmet on and off. I'm like, yo, <laughs> he keep his Chris. Uh, okay. Okay, right? um, fair. Um, Jason Tatum. JT, for sure. I, I, I think he get cussed at halftime. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I met his barber at the game. His barber is at every game. For real. Dang. Dang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, just giving y'all some game. Yeah, yeah, it takes one to know one. Um, geez, I'm going to give you another good one. Did you put Drake in there? Yeah, he definitely got one. Yes. Drake definitely got one. I feel like Drake hairline been touched up a few times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drake, Drizzy definitely been touched up a yeah. few times, man. He, we can't keep Drizzy. I salute, I salute all y'all with hair. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's why I grew my dress when I did it. Yeah. And I was in and out like the birds. Oh, jeez. I grew dress in 2006, so and then I cut them in 2009. Man, 40 to 10. I know, that's because Zero, I yeah. can't do nothing. You're because not going to score next to me. You can't tell me I ain't going to score, young man. Three switching bitches. I see them on Saturday. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Stop playing with Pete. Stop playing with Pete, man. <laughs> so that's when you cut it when you went to school. I cut it, yeah, I cut it. I chopped that thing off. And grew them in, 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 in 2006, man, just for the energy. I, if I can read correctly, I think this board is locked. And he said it. Jesus Christ had dress. So, so shake them. I ain't got, got none, but I'm planting no growing some. Yeah, yeah. And grew them bitches. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, player. You get all that from me. Uh oh. Ah, shit. I'll take it. You get it. Let's do this. Look at that. I'll See? take that. Y'all messing with the experts. You know what I mean? <laughs> Up in here. Let's go. You locked it, though, so you gotta watch it. You locked it, so you got to watch it. 40, you, throughout your career, you've been known as we're, we're getting, we have the honor of, of witnessing the day. I mean, I've I been lucky enough to have this honor quite a few times in kicking your ass. You but, I knew you were going to say something slick, but I knew, like, like, I knew it was coming. You, you've been heavily known for, for, for your lingo. And like, is that just something you originated? Was that something in Vallejo where it was like a theme to come up with you? Like, where, where did that originate from? I'm real like a steak, bro. It's, it just, I mean, a lot of us, you know, we pop our peas and a lot of lingo and, you know, coming out of Northern California, but I'm just different. Like, I'm different. And, I, you know, I'm from the trenches. I'm from the octagon. I'm from the slums. I'm from the smudge. You know what I'm saying? So I pick up, you know, all my lingo ain't just my lingo. It's mm -hmm. street lingo that they actually say. And people mm -hmm. don't understand that. Like, Boosie. Like, like I just went off, Boosie, oh, that's hella. He hella Boosie. Mm -hmm. Like, they scream all the hella, just the word hella. Like, I got a... That's the Oakland word. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Ba that's the bay. That's, that's like, I've been saying this since I was a young mustache. You got to understand, man, this, sh this shit come natural like an afro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm not forcing anything. I make up some shit right here while we sitting up here playing dominoes. You feel what I'm talking about? <laughs> It's just no, 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 you, yeah. it's this way. Yeah, yeah. so Put you gotta get that six out the way. Hand, you gotta get that six out the way, though. That's, did we get uh, tennis? Anyone? <clears throat> what you? Ooh. How? But you said the six. You did, what, what? What are we doing? Oh, I'm sh oh, I sham bam, I sham bam. This Put is, that out. That's this good. Is, this That's is good. Same That's good. No, I just, I know. So I'm 15 right at the here. Wheel. Nah, but look, it was a misunderstanding. I got 15. I don't never miss no money. I ain't you never miss money. Today? I ain't turning down nothing but my collar. Go oh. ahead. Jay, I think you played at a time where y'all almost went on to the court and speaking of the Fat Five, like as trendsetters and like really embracing, embracing black culture, the black socks, the long shorts. How do you think y'all would have fared doing that with the media scrutiny of today? Do I you feel think... like I can do that, right? Yes, you, you can. It's mm -hmm. a good play. Uh, yeah, I feel like. Um... Lost a nickel. Oh, no wonder why you like. Yeah, he's a like, good play. <laughs> yeah. Like, like Jamel, like well, first we stood on the shoulders of giants, you know. <clears throat> and I was born in 73, and the crazy thing that happened is two things that I really paid attention to that happened in 73. One, that's when rap music started. So that's like been a soundtrack of my life. 
And then the other thing, that's when WGPR started. I don't know if you realize that. You know I know about some WGPR. The exact year, 1973. Wow. And that's the first black-owned television station in the country. Mm -hmm. And so the world saw Soul Train, but we, as you know, had the scene, for example. So we always had our local versions. And so I was always fascinated by more than just basketball. I believe that's 10. Like, I was talented. I, it was, I, you in the game. Ooh, Come that's a good game, one. Come to the game. Ah, thank you. Come in the game. All right, go ahead. And so, like, being where we're from, and 40, a cousin, he's from the Bay. Come on. Absolutely. Hello. Short said it, Detroit, just like Oakland. Oakland. It's a black thing, and I'm a black, black man. man. You know what I mean? That's... We cousins. Dream I was three at that time. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like we, in real life. Yeah, in real life, yeah. <laughs> and so, like, watching people like Muhammad Ali, like, one of the toughest things, like, in my sports career, to be honest, is when I saw Muhammad Ali carry the torch in Atlanta. Mm. Because sometimes when you're very outspoken, you know That's this, me. you know this, you know this. There's definitely a crowd of people waiting to see you at your like, yeah, like your, your most vulnerable. So the cab, it got Yola in it. And so I felt like, oh, we're gonna embrace him now, where his his, his, his health isn't the best, right? And he, he's not the imposing figure that they feared. Yeah. I truly felt like that. Mm-hmm. And so right. we stood on that because we met him. Mm. We was in Atlanta doing our first tournament run, and we got off the elevator, and we saw a couple of his security, and we thought we saw the back of his head. We was like, is that Muhammad Ali? <laughs> when we went back, we were like, we about to go meet him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we don't care what nobody say, whatever. And so he put the battery in our back, to be honest, because mm-hmm. we were still a little confused right then about what should we do, what should we wear, like what should we say? You know, da da da. I had a tattoo, like you said. I had an earring, like stupid mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, that don't even matter who, even who matter. got a tattoo. Like, I had a tattoo in college. They're like, oh, he a thug. Yeah. Like, that wasn't even that ain't nothing. And I had a couple of earrings, like the cubic zirconians. They weren't even real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they weren't even real. And so, like, to be able to team up with. C. Webb and Jawan and Ray and Jimmy and like just lock in on like we're gonna be family one for all. Nobody bigger than the group. So like we put our hand in one, two, three, nut check. We got that <laughs> we got that from the ghetto boys. It, we had a song, you gotta let your nuts hang. Oh, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So so yeah. That was it right so there. like you gotta check nobody bigger than the group. Mm-hmm. And we would do that whether we went to parties, we would do that before games, we would do that like, oh man, we said we're gonna be here at 6 30, dog. Well, it's 7 o'clock, we looking for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so once it became that, it, it became a bond that the world knew wasn't phony. And so after that, it was on. Let me tell you my favorite, well, not it, it's not my favorite story, and I believe that's... Nothing. Nothing, okay, you're right. 14. All right, I was like 14, don't move. This is what journalists can't add. <laughs> this is how crazy the scrutiny was on them. Um, the height of the Fight F5 superpowers was when I was in high school. Story came out. Remember about you in the crack house. Correct. Funniest story ever, right? Okay. 15, though. <laughs> oh, look at how you yeah, put know that what I mean? down. 15, though. It was, it was a ridiculous 20. story. See, exactly. It was dumb. It was so dumb because, you know, and this is where media diversity is very important. You have a lot of people in the media, and you know this now that... Mm-hmm. You're you're sort of one of us now, Draymond. Mm-hmm. You still playing? Yeah. Well, he but is one of us. You kind of one check. of us. I am. You're a little bit of one now. of us now. You know, as a player, you you look around. Dual threat. All them games, the number of black people you see covering you, not a lot, no. right? So a lot of the media covering the players do not understand the culture. They don't understand where they come from. They're not interested in where they come from. So when this story happened, it's a gross example of when you don't understand shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody in Detroit. And this goes for a lot of urban centers. We all know where all the crack houses are on our, our street. We all know where they are. Mm-hmm. Just because there's a crack house does not mean that it's a place where you don't actually go hang out. Mm-hmm. Like, you know people who are in there, and by crack house, that's a loose term. Correct. Like, that's a very loose term. That's, that's, yeah. that's a spot everybody playing cards. Yeah. Exactly, video, video games, games yeah. all yeah. that. Barbecue in there. Barbecuing, yeah. all yeah. of that. Music so, like, loud, the connotation, let's start with that, of crack house is one meant to 
plant a certain image of him in his mind. Mm -hmm. So you just hanging out at your homie's crib, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. And this story broke in the day that, that, that J. Rose in my life. was hanging yeah. out in a crack house. Yeah. I mean, wow. you really? would have thought that Jalen Rose yeah, choked somebody out yeah. in the uh -huh. middle of Seven Mile. I Correct. mean, because they didn't understand. Like, yo, in our neighborhoods, we used to accepting everybody. Mm -hmm. Right, like we know there's some folks on our block that might be struggling with some drug issues. Mm -hmm. We got grandma and grandpa there, we got aunties there, we got all mm -hmm. that. And so they didn't understand that. So the way that it was reported, and you've been through this as well, mm -hmm. is that because of that, there is a perception of black athletes that just lingers with folks. And the media has played a big role in that simply because the media is not very diverse. And Why? because we broke, like we're not yeah. supposed to be. Like I wasn't getting NIL, the season was over. Like back then when the season ended, you, I had to get out the dorm. I had to leave my spot. I went back to the hood. Mm -hmm. I was I was on the block. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like the world like knew the Fab Five, but I was on the block. Wasn't making no money. Yeah. What What do you think? If, if NIL, it's crazy because I was just back at Michigan State this weekend. Mm -hmm. I really feel like the NIL shit is just like the NCAA way of saying, "All right, shut up." Here's some scraps. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, shut up. Like, if you can go get some money. You got something for me? If you can go get some money, it's on you. Mm -hmm. You know, but we still not about to fucking We pay. need 40 another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I got into there. Absolutely. It's a step, sort of, but it's not, like you said, because listen, as, you know, as what's happened recently, you have the college football playoff that is going to be expanding. You know, more games, Preach. more opportunities to get hurt more vulnerable athletes, they're not talking about splitting no money. That's gonna add additional revenue. What I hope that the players understand through just seeing the NIL breakthrough, I hope that the players that are in college, and it's unfair to burden them, them with this. The reality is like, I hope they understand they're powerful enough. They could break this system. They could literally break this system right now because they can't do anything without you. And you need to understand that you have a lot of leverage. They're gonna use playing time and you have coaches, as you know, that come in and sweet talk to you and tell you all this, and they like the national TV games. All due respect to Alabama, the players make Alabama, right? You don't have to go there to be an NFL player. You're a great player when you get there. And yes, they're on national TV and that's great, but athletes need to get out of this mentality that the school makes them. Mm -hmm. The school can help you, yeah. the school can boost you, the school does not make you. That's a fact. There's a difference. It's great. Wow. And so once they're able to understand what their power is, I think we will see significant change. You know, the, the greatest power play you can ever pull on a people is convincing them they don't have any. Mm -hmm. When you convince them they don't have any, they don't believe that they can actually change the system. And that goes not just for college athletes, that goes for black people in general. Is that if you're convinced that you don't have any power, you readily secede it, you readily cede it to the people that actually want it and know that you have it. It's on me again? It's on you. me, okay. So, I've yeah. never asked you Talk this. to me, I'll I've talk been, I've been knowing you for almost 30 years. Definitely I've never 30. asked you this. Yes, sir. I think you're the first independent artist that put that, okay. So there's it's been a lot of independent artists, but they didn't they wasn't the executive producers of their self. Mm. I have always been the executive producer That's myself. A lot of independent artists have backing. It's been a lot of independent artists, not really like like that. But I was the first one independent that showed the actual process of selling tapes out the trunk of the car and also uh, having a one stop distributor and being the one that put his own, my own money in my projects. Correct. That's why, I, that's why I'm here to this day, because you know, the way I structured my business was independent and it wasn't by choice, it was by force. Because being in the Bay Area, we taught ourselves. You know, Master P got a lot of game from my Uncle St. Charles and mm -hmm. us, uh, and, and many more to follow. And that's, they, they, all those who follow, Master P, Birdman, all them, them my loved ones. I love them. You know what I mean? They took it to other heights and they did what they were supposed to do with the game. But I'm just saying, I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to come from the from the ground up. You talking about getting it out the mud and keeping your head above choppy waters? Mm -hmm. That's me. And you so, feel me? And, you and know. so I saw that and learned from that. Yeah. Because think about it. In high school, as an athlete, like you're required to be a role model. Mm -hmm. You know why, right? Because suburban kids look up to you. 
Right. Yeah. <laughs> right? See, he's chasing his rap dream, his entrepreneur dream. He ain't got to be eligible. You got to be eligible. Mm-hmm. And you got to go to college. You see what I'm saying? We're going to make sure that since our kids are watching you, you going to feed the system. Right. And then they're making money off you, too. Correct. So you me. have to feed the system, mm-hmm. right? Because you got college presidents, athletic personnel, athletic directors, coaches. Yes. All so eating I off the same gravy I always appreciated train. how hip-hop and artists like him, he just said it. He was an artist. He was his own executive producer. Mm. So I'm looking at the game. Think about our show, Jalen and Jacoby. What is one of the themes? You just said the term, pop the trunk. Yeah. That's where I got that from. Come on. Literally, be like, how can I be independent in this ethos and, like, get all these hands out of my pocket? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> like that right now with the, with the adult <laughs> beverage, with, a, with, with food and beverages. They, oh, right now, right. No, no, there's no one in, in, my, in my bag. It's just me and my family, the Stevens Estate. Stevens um, Estate, that's incredible. Uh, it's cool, by the way, I got 95. You I'm know what, Drake? What I got? I feel like you're just showing off right you now. You got 35. Okay. <laughs> I know I got a he's strong 30. He's, he's I got not that great. Team. I don't have 30. <laughs> I don't have 30 anymore. What you got now? I seen, I, I seen him off of uh, Sonoma Boulevard over there. Oh, jeez. Uh, over there by the gas station. We switching batches. Stella, Ella, and Della. <laughs> you feel me? I, got a, uh, I do have a question for you, uh, E, is Jalen has quoted several of your lyrics. Um, we all know many of them by heart. What's your favorite? Mm. Of My your favorite. own lyrics? Rap. Yeah, what's your favorite lyric? I know you can't pick just one, but just like, as soon as I said that, like, what came to mind? Like, what's your favorite of your own lyrics? You be like, damn, I did that shit. <laughs> yeah, Plenty. Legend. But one of the ones that poke out, like, nipples, no disrespect. <laughs> I have them. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have many of them, but one of the ones that everybody always says is, don't buy an $85,000 car <laughs> before you before buy, you buy a house. Yes, yeah. But is that is that is that your favorite no. car because no, it's, it's, not. The it's, not. It's, it's not. It's the game that it's is the given. Game. Okay. That's why I love it because it's the game, the game okay. that is given. Because I'm all about our our black excellence. I'm all about entrepreneur. I ain't even mad at some of these cats that start off for the first three four years of their career signing to a label, but you don't have to nowadays because nah, really those don't. days are over. Back in the days, I would say I ain't mad at you. Cause you could do three years and they get you, they build you up. Then you can go independent. But once you, once they build you up, you get spoiled and you don't know how to go independent. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing. That's the that's the gift and the curse. You they can blow you up and everything. You feel me? Yeah. But what also made those lyrics like legendary? You came with the intellect. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I never thought about it like that. <laughs> One of my coldest ones when I said. I'd rather work at Napa at the winery. Mm. Ooh. Ain't and no now about I that. sell my own fucking wine, bro. <laughs> Look at From that. Speaking into up. existence. Speak that to it. 100% owned. So. That's not what I'm going to worry about. It. You That's know what? That's why you're trying to teach me. See, I, child, man. You know, That's what he do. That's what he do. That's what he do. See, I was waiting on this one. I was like. You were waiting on me to do that, wasn't you? What you got with it? Nothing for you. Look at that. I got these. I'll take these. Damn shame. Oh, water, you, you catching up. You got 45. <laughs> I don't want you to put water on here. Jamie, I don't want you to put the word water. I'm still, at, I'm still at 10. My, my, I got a new name. What is it? Um, he thinking. Belafonte. Belafonte. <laughs> Feasible Belafonte Bellagiano Bellweather. That is... Lock it in. Amazing. Now, nah, water ain't gonna never go away, right? <laughs> the 40 water, water, 40, 40 water. water. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm yeah. my last house, just FYI. For real? Yeah. It's, just, it's like that? It's like that. 45, 35, 10. It's my turn. Right, yes, it is. It's my turn. Right before so these two fives somewhere. and that, mm-hmm. we go 10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that Hold on, but how do you gotta give me mine first? Hold on, guys, I'm gonna dismiss my... <laughs> I oh, set the screen you see how he just shot. You see how he immediately dismissed him? Hold on. You got 45 no, I don't dismiss my role. I'm just yeah. unlucky today, buddy. I wouldn't know you just playing behind me. Your play. I, I wouldn't. Hold up. I think I got another. That's how we knew that. Uh-oh. Yes! Come on now. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's sliding <laughs> I, I got a question for you. Uh-huh. You've won four championships. What is your favorite NBA Finals? Ooh. Mm. 
Ooh, come on, Jay, with that. I hit. already know what it is. Y'all know what it is. I don't know. My favorite. Because it's a con- If you really look Ooh. at what, how he played in each of them. Ooh. Keep it one thou while yeah. Junior. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta keep it, <laughs> keep it a thou. So that question to me is very similar to um, like a favorite rapper question. It's because the way that question can be interpreted is two different ways. And so. What's my favorite one that I played in? It would be more selfish to me and like how I played right. in that NBA Finals. And the reality is, it's fucked up because I actually lost. Mm. Not three one. I played my best NBA Finals the year we lost. So he's gonna be in the was That's why I played. asked the question. Like, he had one of the greatest Finals of all time of any player. Absolutely. It wasn't even like just his team. You know what I'm saying? I was destroying him. Now. What's your most satisfying? Game, no, listen though. My game <laughs> seven. Tell, tell my him. game seven was one of the greatest stat lines in Correct. game seven history. A lot of Nobody, people don't that. That's why I'm pulling. I'm pulling this, this receipt. No yes. one talks That's about. A great I ain't pulling receipt. it. Yes. You know why? Great receipt. Because we fucking lost, and I don't expect anybody to talk about it because no one talks about you when you lose. So yeah. I'm fine with that. Like, but. It was That's actually one of the know about greatest I, game I was right there. final performances. Was it at home? And the, yes. Oh, yes. I was there. It was, it was one of the greatest. It was 3-1. Sure. That was I the took one. some pictures with you. Game I did. Like, in you history. Did. And so, <laughs> if you <laughs> ask me, like, what was my personal favorite? You were it's the one I dominated in. Yeah. Both teams. And that was 2016. And so, when I look back on that, it's like, damn. Like, I, I was insane. But we lost. And so then, you know, you go to like, what well, did the most for me? It's this one. Mm. Because for me, this is like the ultimate fuck you to everybody. Like, mm. that y'all was as off. It y'all, should between be. being in the lottery as and losing KD, said? people Come thought on. y'all was y'all, y'all wrote as us it off. Should be. Y'all wrote us off. M- motherfuckers definitely wrote me off and left me for dead as if Come I didn't on. go from like, I, I went from playing in five straight NBA finals. To like, to like playing. I don't even know what we were playing. Like right. we were switching game plans every game because yeah. Steve's trying to find something yeah. that worked. He's coming to me. Steve's coming to me like, hey Draymond, I wish I could just give you a red shirt here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> because we're like, we didn't know any. Like we right. had a bunch of young guys that didn't know anything. He like, oh this game, we are gonna play in the drop. The next game we trapping the ball screen. The next game, we in the ice. Like I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this? And I knew what Steve was trying to do. He was trying to figure it out. But the recovery to, you know, was amazing. But going through that year, the way they recovered, yeah, yeah. Like, going through that quick pull. Like, but going through that year, and then everybody telling me like, oh, you washed. Because like, how do you way. think I'm supposed to care about this game? We are fucking 14 and 52. Like I, I don't right. care. So what's my favorite one? It's that, you know why? Because it's a big fuck you to mm. everybody who didn't believe, to motherfuckers who, who wrote us off. Man, did you see the, I, they were mad at me because I was doing my podcast. I like, remember that. <laughs> okay, so guess what? Guess what? I would love I to see them awesome. tell me next year, hey, you can't play basketball and, win, and do a podcast. I won a fucking NBA championship and was doing a podcast yeah, mm-hmm. okay. right after I finished. And guess what? When everybody celebrated the championship after we won a championship, you know what I went and sat down and did? My motherfucking podcast. Correct. For an hour and a half. By the time I made it to the celebration, it was over. People was trinkling out. I don't give a fuck. I've celebrated enough championships. Well, I'm gonna celebrate another celebrate. one. But people, but it was love, that one people love real, real it was shit. You know, I like to shake the building up a little bit. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. You were about to say something. Well, the crazy yeah. thing Hello? as I look around. That's a locked board. The t- Oh, oh shit, he is right. It is. Yeah, it's locked. Uh, you lucky you ain't playing in front five. of me. Yeah, so I get all of this, right? No, what you got in your hand? He got a low score in his hand. I love to see that. Yeah. No, 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 no. What you get is oh, what's in her. Too. Yeah, what's in mine. You get what's uh, in her. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, what about what's in mine? the back man. Oh, He's supposed to get no, mine. No, he said it at the beginning of the beginning of the game. But I don't like that. What do you think? What's that? The Midwest? I ain't never heard that in the Midwest. I done played from Spain to Spokane. Spain to Spokane. What the fuck going on here? What's your little rules? I got 115. Jalen has 65. Hey. 
<laughs> you have 55, I 25. Hello? He got his own dick. Damn, man. Just, dominoes, man. What's I, that? I, I just go. Six. I you just rush him? How you just going to rush everybody? It's blood? not going to jump in your hand out of mine. You was, um. Ooh, okay. damn. You, that's the only way you damn. score. Damn. You, you Della and Della. You got 70 it's like points. that? You got Hello? 70 points. It's like 45 that. 45 came off me having big six. Oh, guess what? I it think don't I matter. We're tough. I'm going to win this game. 17. Little homie. Oh, shit, it's 17. Wait. Hey, hey, so you're so playing first, intelligent like you're playing, my guy. I'm sorry. Here's a question I have, though. You spoke about, number one, you and I am doing the media thing now as an active player, you were the first ones to actually do that. Uh, who who or what pushed you to start doing that so early? And then also, it's a two-part question. You spoke about athletes being underpaid in the media. Ooh, like, let's I, talk I about it, Jay. About wow, that. he's on the air. Wow, he's on the air. Y'all about to get the, y'all gonna push me to the Jamel Hill treatment after this answer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you me blackball. Mm -mm. <laughs> I said if you won't. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. She don't hold her tongue, but right, shit. Exactly, that's why she the bomb. <laughs> so a, a few things. So I love you, brother, and I appreciate you. And I'm grateful that you're extremely strong and disciplined even when people try to silence you. That's real talk. That's what made me want to get in the media, to be honest. I felt like we were powerful playing, but we weren't powerful like being heard and we didn't have any of the powerful jobs that articulated our vision or articulated our journey. That's, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna graduate from college, like you, and I'm gonna work in the media. Not many former athletes have that. Mm. Normally when you leave early, I left early. Normally when you leave early, you ain't going back to get your degree. Mm -hmm. You say that to your mom, you say that to everybody, you start getting them checked, you're like, fuck that. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to. You know what I mean? So that was your degree in, in the what? what? Communications, yeah. Radio, man, TV. Hold on, man. Yeah. No yes, it is. <laughs> With the college for that. Exactly. Wow. And so I was planning. I was plotting. I was like, I want to try to give us a voice because I didn't like how they were name calling us. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain Fox Sports analyst in particular that like na like creates a name or like um, a sir diss for certain athletes, you know, for, you know, I guess, social cliques. And Absolutely, so for, And so for me, I was like, I'm gonna combat that. And that's why when Kwame Brown came out and he talked about how he was treated as a young player and I appreciated him showing me love because that's when I first started getting in the game. And I was like, I'm not about to be muzzled. And the thing that allowed me not to feel muzzled is because I was getting my own bread. So I was like, I got money. So even if they fire me, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I used to always say that. I can't, mm -hmm. I'm proud. I said, Jamel, Jamel, li Jamel Hill lived in Bristol, Connecticut. <laughs> Eating but, Applebee's and Ruby Tuesdays you instead of the Marriott. You Ruby know. Tuesdays. Real quick, before he goes on this story, let me, you tell you, know. let me tell you how Jay helped me out. You know. People don't know this story, Jay, and you may not even remember this. So this is before I got put on as a daily, you know, being on a daily TV show. This is before, this was Numbers Never Lie. Mm -hmm. Jalen and I are on a, a bus, and they have this thing. Every network has a thing called Upfronts. And at what happens at Upfronts is that they present their content coming for the fall, coming for that season, to advertisers, to the money people, and say, here's what we got coming. And we was there together. I we was, was like, there oh. together. So it's, it's a dog and pony show, right? So they bring in all the attractive elements that they have to convince you as Nike, sense. as Gatorade, as whatever, to put $20 million into more advertising, whatever the number is. We on the bus, and Jalen was like, yo, I'm leaving numbers, never lie. I'm going to NBA Countdown full time. I heard they want you in that spot to replace him on Numbers Never mm -hmm. Lie. And I was like, where? Yeah. He was like, that's what I'm hearing. And he was like, you should be aware, sis, because this is what it is. Mm -hmm. So he gives me the whole breakdown. Put like, me up hit on them game. right now. Start emailing right now. He was like, right yo, now. start your campaign now. He's like, I know your name has already come up. Put me up on game. And this media business, we don't do that enough. Mm -hmm. It's like, we got to put each other on. 
like what's happening. So because he alerted me, my eight, my representation was able to get started a little mm -hmm. bit earlier. You know, from a salary standpoint, mm -hmm. we knew what it was, so we were able to get it done. But J Rose that was became the one. numbers never lie, became, which became which a game changing he, show, which became his and hers, yeah. which broke the barrier for podcast shows mm -hmm. because y'all got sports wow. center. Yes, like we went from the numbers real estate, never lie. Everybody to his was and hers staring at that real estate. Center. Everybody was and staring at Jay that. Jay was like, the one that told me we need that real estate. Correct. Yeah. But you know what? Okay. I, I want you to talk about the, what Draymond asked you. Is like the difference, the salary thing. It's like okay. no disrespect to anybody that has come out, but I'm gonna be real. It's like when I see the amount of money that certain networks have paid for certain superstars, well, in their mind to be superstars, that playing reputation, like, are we gonna get a black version of Tony Romo? And I'm not even saying Preach. that Tony Romo does not deserve what he is. Like, he's a hell that of a broadcast. doesn't even matter, they got it. They got it, right? But like, Tony Romo out the gate is commanding a level of salary that is crazy. They got it, Pat right? McAfee. Pat Mac, like, what's, what's the black, Eggman. what's the black version of that look like? Mm -hmm. Who is the black version of that? Right, I was like, so you, exist. So you mean to tell me that everybody that you get, given what black players have, contrib have contributed to the game, mm -hmm. like Draymond, to me, you're the surest bet ever to give a lot of money to be on somebody's, you know, like I know you already have your TNT deal, like surest bet. You know why? Because every time you talk, you say something that makes me interested. Same thing with you. And you can always tell who these players are as they're why they playing while they're if playing. They don't say nothing while they playing. They gonna and say look, nothing when I'm they sorry. Retire. Again, no disrespect. Putting Jason Witten in the Monday Night Football booth, I was like, he's never said anything interesting. Mm -hmm. Never. You've never watched a single press conference involving Jason Witten where you've been like, oh my God, that's so compelling. But he wound up in the Monday Night Football booth. How? Anticipation. How? Right? So that's Who is he? He had the cowboy a brand behind him. He had the and, and cowboy I, tight end. I, I and I just that. don't see them. No lose. disrespect. I just don't know him. <laughs> Which says a lot. No disrespect. He's a tight end. Do you know how hard it would be for a black tight end to wind up in the Monday night football booth? Or a black quarterback. Right? Here, come on, let's let's go ahead and let's, <laughs> let's just pour it all around. It's your turn, by the way. Yeah. Earl Stevens, dot com. So I say I like to say the entrepreneur. That what he's saying about the salaries is, is true. The other thing I'll bring up as a twin to that is that try to be black on TV and not be a former player. Mm. And not be a former player. Mm. Meanwhile, I can name yeah, a lot you, you guys of folks. Why, yeah. It's even shorter, right? If That's you're a, not a former player, the former player aspect, just like, notice this in coaching, Draymond, you know this. Again, this is no disrespect to anybody who's been successful, but they will literally let somebody who's just been the video guy or the, you know, the player personnel person, if you're white, the analytics guy, they will become a head coach. That track record doesn't look the same for somebody black. Right, they won't, we have to have played. So that means you have to have been one of 250 players in the world to have been a professional NBA player in order to put yourself in line to be a coach. Look at all the NBA coaches, they're all former players. Yeah. There are other coaches who are not, and I'm not saying they're not good at their job, they are. What I'm saying is that the goalpost is always moving for us. Mm -hmm. Always. So do you, you guys call yourself a commentator, sports analyst, or what? So I, I, I want to know, because, hey, what about the first rapper that's a sports analyst? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to do that one. Hey, trying ain't to do no that. telling He's us what Jack told Helen, man. <laughs> huh? And, and spending Come on. his own money on the What about the that, that, though? I can't. Hear that. You I know like, what I'm saying? Like, I'm a rapper. I speak I, what I speak. A, you know, a, every I, game that at E40 Come on. had tickets and rooted for y'all, I was commentating the game. He was right there. Where? Oh, Each wow, one. that's right funny. Right there, brother. He, he, I remember him saying, I'm getting season tickets. <laughs> I remember him saying, they're about to be something special, and him saying, y'all going to win nine championships. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Come he on. said that. I mean, sort of halfway there. It'll, come uh, on. it'll get broken up before then, yeah, but. Yeah, <laughs> <nah. laughs> Come on, Dre. What is No, won't.
sincerely. That's on you, Walter. Also, I'm up 130. Like, this is, oh, you're this up 130 on <laughs> See, I just. To 70. My host, uh, but I was on I was on the case like a lawyer until 25. I can't, now I can't play no more because they, see, I got to. Next so, time I'm sitting in front of you, okay? Okay. Play. We, we Are you knocking? After, I'm knocking. But I'm going oh, to oh, ask a question, a though, to E-40. Mm -hmm. right. Talk to me. I'll talk down. black. As we amongst family, uh -huh. with my brother, I'm with my sister, I'm with my family. So I have to ask you. Talk to as me. As you as a tycoon, as an entrepreneur. First, you, first. Rapper that ever screamed the word tycoon just for the energy. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh amen. Amen. Ever, amen. That ever that came way. out any rapper's so, mouth. So, so here's the important question that I'm going to ask that y'all going to be like, this is a dope question from an E40 fan. What are some of the words or terms that you feel like you introduced to the lexicon? You, you, you pack a lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Did you I feel pack like this is a lunch? long list. This is a long list. <laughs> I might have, I might I mean, have to get back to this. Good this God. is the only time in your life you've been asked this. Okay, ready? Yep. Yes, sir. Write it down. Choppers. Ooh. Choppers, right? Yeah. Okay, triple beam scales. Oh, you did. okay. Not fish scales, triple, triple beam, beam scales. Triple beam scales, yeah, I remember that. Uh, 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 thumpers. Uh, um, oh my God, this the grit don't quit. Um, <laughs> oh my God, stop it. Um, damn. Things uh, that E40 introduced to the game. Hey, hey, that boy, that boy say, uh, uh, I don't be, I don't be barking, nor even high capping. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch me. I'm coming smebbing. 95, 96, 97. They're, they're custodian. 40 R6, 40, 40, 30 R6 custodian. Shout out to, uh, I, I got too many of them. Hold, hold, hold. That's just that. That's 10. Damn it, uh, Drake. We can go, we can go. It's locked. It's locked, yeah, it's locked. Nah, he, he. It's Ooh. locked. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. It's locked. Throwing bones. We got playing with your man when we throwing bones. This is. I just whooped y'all ass. Hey, yo. Oh. Oh. What happened to the boy? Oh, hey, you, you, e, you got to give it to him. Look at this. Give it to him. So, you lucky. So, Jalen, he already claimed oh, that he ain't the best domino player. He's one of the best people on this earth. Now what about what I did to you? You didn't. That's not me. We, this is four people playing. No, no, no. What about, lucky why don't y'all go finish. play a game head up right now? We can play. Let's put this shit on camera. Me one on one. Right there. The best one -on -one. out of motherfucking one, not best out of three, seven, whatever. Ooh. Let's go. Bring it to the table. Let me show you how to win. This is for my players from the barbecues to the pit. We can't have a. Good